Good morning everybody and welcome to Braunsdorf in southeast Germany. I'm here with Matthias from Globex Mining and we're stood on the original site of the shaft of the Braunsdorf mine. Matthias, how are you today? Yes, I'm, I'm very fine and, and happy to see you here at, at Braunsdorf. Uh, the Braunsdorf mine camp gave the name to our exploration license, which is the size of 164 square kilometers, but it is just one mining camp among many others. Mm -hmm. And the Bronsdorf mine ceased mining already in 1861 and produced over 112 tons of silver. So here we are on the historic mine dump at the Bronsdorf deposit. Matthias, could you tell us a bit about the geology here and what they were mining originally? We can see a few rocks, um, what's say, extracted from the mine. It is actually not not the vein material which had been extracted but the barren wall rock which is here a graphitic cheese silicified or silicified breccias and even so you have you see a stock work in it with with epithermal quartz and and carbonate mm. and quite a few minerals pyrite arsenopyrite and the silver minerals are, are rare in here mm. even so and took several samples here and they graded up to about 110, 120 grams of, of silver. What they mined here was of, of high grade. Yeah. It's, a, it's very important, this black graphitic cheese, uh, if we would find that further north, we could find maybe mineralization which had yet not been discovered. So the goal is to find continuation of this vein system to the north. Fantastic, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, let's go. We are about one kilometer or one kilometer a half north of the Bronsdorf mine in the middle of, a, of an agriculture field and about here is passing the continuation of the Bronsdorf vein system. The epithermal quartz looks quite different like the metamorphic quartz which is here everywhere. I followed that and uh, within this uh, segment of seven kilometers without historic mining between Breunsdorf and Großvoigtsberg, I found several spots so I could prove that the vein system continues and to define higher grade zones we put a soil sample grid over it and, and we'll see if we pick up an ore body here. So why is Saxony such a good region to come mining right now? Yes, uh, that is, an, that is one of the most important questions also for investors which also other companies actually which could be interested in this project which doubt that Germany is a good place for mining and of course there is a good reason to be afraid because in most states of Germany mining would be very difficult for metals. There is mining in Germany for other for other for industrial minerals for salt for coal but not for metals um, however saxony is an exception it has a very old mining tradition and in 2012 saxony implemented a law to support spar mining and metal mining and it is now actually promoted by the saxony government that there goes on exploration on on metal mining and spar mining, that is fluoride, barite, and it's a have a strong program. They also go even to schools, to the kids, and, and, and tell good things about mining. And companies are welcome here in Saxony. They are welcome from the government, from the mining agency, and we have also in Saxony many more metal projects. There are two lithium projects which are being developed and there is also one tungsten project which already is in, in the trial stage mm. of mining and probably Saxony the environment for mining is as good as Quebec in, in Canada or maybe even better. If you really invest and do something you have very good chances to do something here in Saxony. So we are now in the Obergruner mining camp this mine dump here behind it is it's huge. It's about 25 meter high, 150 meter long and 100 meter wide. And they mine to a depth of 580 meters. And here we have a network actually of numerous epithermal veins. 
principal vein runs east-west here, it's a different vein than the main system, and the high-grade silver came from the intersection with southwest northeast veins. And they produced here uh, between Obergruner and Klein Volksberg, a little bit further south, about 350 tons of silver. Further to the east, there is one vein which runs southwest northeast, and it represents the continuation of our main vein system and it had not been worked almost, and that could be a target for us. It, it would represent the direct continuation of the Christ Bescherung mine camp. So welcome to the last stop on our tour. We're at the Emanuel mine, is that right? Yes, here, here is behind us is the, our mine building. The shaft was about 160 meter deep, and the mining stopped in 1882. There are no production numbers, so we don't know how much they produce. However, I checked the, the ore from the remaining mining dump and it was rather encouraging with over 300 grams of silver in a composite sample and also one and a half gram of gold here. It's a continuation of our principal vein system. Um, however, from here to the northeast, there is nothing more to see because deep loss cover, so we have no idea how far this vein continues. Uh, it is not the only vein here in the Emanuel mine camp. I also discovered another parallel vein to this one uh, outcropping in a creek. And that's a new vein? That's a not new vein before. which was, yeah. has not been known before um, with very low temperature epithermal quartz uh, over a width of 50 centimeters which was outcropping but the vein is wider and that returned two and a half grams of gold. Mm. So a very interesting epithermal target here. It would be encouraging, important to, to explore here as well. One of, one of many targets here of the Breutzbachdorf project. So right now, Matthias, Globex Resources are looking for joint venture partners in this region, is that right? Yes, that is true. So Globex is looking for a joint venture or optioning partner for Breunsdorf. Globex is not just a normal explorer uh, company, much more uh, a royalty company. They have a property bank of 168 projects at the moment. Most are located in, in Canada, Quebec especially, and, uh, but also the US. And Breunsdorf is the only project outside of America here now in Germany. Now the intention is to find interest here also in, in Breunsdorf, which is a, a great silver project, but not just silver. We have gold here as well, which we did not expect. Mm -hmm. Going to deeper levels, we have also copper, zinc and lead. Mm -hmm. And besides that, there is also a vein system with barite and fluoride. And there is even a little bit cobalt and, and nickel here on the property but that is second. The most important thing is the silver and um, uh, the silver mineralization here is very comparable to others in the world like in Mexico it's a very huge epithermal system here over 35 kilometer long with many many mining camps and there is room actually for several companies working on, on this on these properties. So Matthias, thank you very much for hosting us today. It's been really good to see you again. Yeah. And we look forward to catching up next time. If you'd yeah. like to hear more about Globex Resources, the website's on your screen now. Take a look. G'day, cheers. Cheers.